What's good family, welcome back to the channel. In this video right here, we have a guy that's gonna be telling us what God showed him about electric cars. Now we don't have to take everything he's saying as facts, but we could definitely hear him out with an open mind. And now like one thing when I think about electric cars, I wonder if he's gonna talk about this, but like using electric cars, if everyone ends up using electric cars, we're basically putting our means of transportation in the person or the CEO of electric cars, which is gonna be Elon Musk. So like one day it could literally come to the point where they could just shut off all electric cars if they really want to because it's electric. You know what I'm saying? It's all controlled through a power source. It's no longer like a motorized car with gasoline. That's also going along with many other things. Like I know they have, they're starting some chips that you could put in the brain and things like that. Ah man. I'm staying far away from that stuff. But I don't know what he's going to say. Let's get straight into this. Yeah. Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. Back in our video, man. Let's get straight to it about these electric cars, man. I hope people are seeing what the agenda is. And you know, what is the mark of the beast? The Bible says you won't be able to buy or sell unless you receive the chip in your right hand or in your forehead. So what does that let me know? It lets me know they want to control the people. They want to control you with your cell phone devices, with your laptops, now with your computers. They want to control you with a lot of things, but those are just three things that came off the head. But now they want to control you by your cars. Okay, all this new age technology, I truly believe, I know some religious people won't believe, but all this new age technology, it all stems from fallen angels, the fallen angel knowledge that we weren't supposed to know. The book of Enoch talks about what the fallen angels did. They taught human beings think things that we were, weren't supposed to know. So, and I have electric cars, so I'm gonna tell you guys what just happened to me recently. Now, I do have a backup car, a gas car, because I understand, you know, we gotta be prepared. Okay, there's benefits to electronic cars, and there's a lot of cons to it, okay? Just like with gas cars too, there's pros and cons. But one thing that just happened in my area, which has never happened before, there was a power outage for about over two hours, and my car needed to be charged. Now, I didn't need to go anywhere, but just wanted to charge it. Mm. And I realized, I was like, wait, the power's out. How am I going to charge the car? You could have been going. So, and for those who don't know, in 2035 in California and many other states too, you guys can go look this up yourself. They passed a bill where they want, uh, in 2035, I know that's a long time for now, but guys, time goes by fast. They could also even change it to a shorter time if they just pass the bill. So, but as of right now, as I'm wow. just making this video, by 2035, they want all cars to be electronic. Okay, and even in Europe, they, they passed a bill too as well for that year. So I'm clearly seeing the agenda. I'm clearly seeing how they're using these technologies to control us, to control the masses, it. okay? And if you don't comply, in China, they have a system where they have social credit score. For those who don't know, uh, if you're complying to the system, you're, you're pretty much bowing down to the beast, your credit score will be higher. So if you're doing the opposite of that, like if you don't want to get that, you know, you know what they were pushing on the people back in 2021, 2022, not going to say no names, you guys are going to think for yourself, okay? But if you didn't get this, if you're speaking out, you know, if you're speaking out, you know, speaking truth, if you're going against the grain pretty much, your credit score will go down. And if you own an electronic vehicle, which pretty much is powered by a computer, you know, they're going to be able to track you, and they're going to be able to shut your car down well, where you can no longer enter this car, you can no longer drive this vehicle, or you can drive this vehicle, but you can only drive 50 miles a week. You can only drive 20 miles a day because your social credit score is low. This is all correlating. It's all linking to the mark of the beast. I hope you guys are awakened to the gospel, the Bible, awakening to Jesus Christ. Okay, so you can see, you can take off the blindfolds in your eyes so you can see the agenda clear as day. I clearly see what's going on. And I want to thank the Lord Jesus for opening my eyes to see, to share this message with you guys. Because this is clearly controlled, okay? I told you guys about the social credit scores. Also, when it comes down to, you know, wanting to open your car, they're going to make it work. If you don't have the chip, when you, when you don't have that chip, you can't even open the car. You can't even get inside your car. Now, like I told you guys in many videos before in the past, if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Everything that's being pushed out in the masses today, that's by the so-called powers of being, you know, the Bible talks about the spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay, it's all correlated to the mark of the beast. Everything that Satan is pushing on the masses all correlates to the mark of the beast. I just saw a chemtrail somewhere on here. I don't know if it, I don't know part just disappeared, but the chemtrails are all control. The food is full of GMO. The water, the water is feminizing the man and masculinizing uh, the woman. Uh, they're pushing out, you know, pornography, you know, say like that. You know, just weakening the men, you know, so the man can't fight back. 
and strengthening the woman because the woman is now the man and the man is now the woman. And does anyone see this agenda? They're trying to separate. Yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about, especially when we did that video on Glorilla and that whole entire stampede. You guys, like, I was telling you guys how all the music being pushed, especially from the mu from the woman in the hip hop industry, the mainstream music that's really being pushed on our culture, all the women are talking very, very, very masculine. And this is only going to shift the women to become more masculine. Like he's saying, this, oh, I was telling you guys about this shift from making masculine men more feminine and feminine women more masculine. Like this is the shift that they want. It confuses everyone and then makes everyone much more easily controlled because they don't even know who they are supposed to be. The man and the woman, we're, we're all arguing and going back and forth with each other, you know, destroying the families, and there's no leadership. Okay, because the Bible talks about how God is the head, then it, uh, then it comes Christ, and then it comes the man and the woman, and all that, and then and the children. You know, all that in today's age is all backwards. Okay, we have women living man. We have people who don't even have God in their lives. They don't even believe in Jesus. And everything is backwards, everything is corrupt. See, God gave us laws to follow. He gave us rules. And we don't, when we don't abide by his rules and his laws, corruption happens. You know, when we're disobedient, and bad things happen in our life, but we're keeping God's I'm not gonna lie, that wind is going crazy right now. We just gotta bear with it. Laws and his commandments and his laws. A lot of those things would have been avoided. Generational curses, okay, broken families, all of that. So we all got to combat the solution to all this madness that's going on. Because I always give people solutions. Okay, I mean, a lot of people just give you problems and problems with people because it keeps you going back to them. But I always give people solutions, man. The solution is keeping God's laws, man. Being obedient to His word. And yes, we fall short. We make mistakes. That's why we have Jesus' blood to wash us from our sins. But we don't make excuses, man. And we understand that His word is meant to protect us. So we must be applying it to our lives. I'm telling you, man, God will speak to you just like he's speaking to me to make this video for you guys because I'm not here to push out fear, but I'm just letting y'all know how this, how the days are coming to you, man. Like, these are the end times. And if you have eyes to see, you can see yourself too as well. And so I just want to give you guys a special about electronic cars. You know, people are worshiping this Elon Musk guy like a god. He's the most, I, I would say he's probably the most praised human being on earth. And we all know what the Bible says about I think I think he's actually like the richest human being on earth too. I think that's what he's going to focus on. Those who are praised praise amongst men. It's an abomination to God. And that's how Satan works. Satan's going to use someone who's the most liked by this world to push out deceptions, to push out uh, his agendas. And I'm, I know it's not just him. Because I just looked it up and Porsche has now EV cars, Jeep has EV cars, Honda has EV cars. Yeah. I even think Lamborghinis are making EV cars. So yeah. I'm thoroughly seeing where this is all going. And I hope you guys see too as well. Uh, just always understand that, that when you have Christ in your life, there's no fear. He gives you wisdom. God gives you wisdom. He gives you knowledge. He gives you understanding. So important to have wisdom and understanding so you can see the times we're going into. And when you see the times we're going into, you're no longer going to live a life of vanity. You're no longer going to live a life of, you know, where it's just about yourself because you got to deny yourself and pick up your cross daily so you can follow him. So there's no, there's no much, there's no more of a thing of, you know, this is all about yourself being selfish, narcissistic, because that's how most people are today. The Bible says that there'll be, in the, in the end times, there'll be people who will be lovers of themselves. They'll be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. We're clearly seeing that today. Who loves God today? The Bible says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. There's not many people loving God by their actions, you know, because we could, we could easily say we love God with our words. We can easily say we love God by going to church, but the Bible doesn't say that. If you love me, say you love me out of your mouth. If you love me, go to church on Sundays. Go to church on Wednesdays, or uh, Wednesdays, or whatever, any other day. It says that if you love me, you'll keep my commandments and best believe. Yeah, that's facts, y'all. But to get back onto the point that he was making about the electric cars, I see it. And the fact that California is, is passing a bill to have all the cars, only electric cars being sold by 2035, which is what, 12 years from now, which is not that far from now, 12 years from now. We were just in 2010. Don't act like we weren't just in 2011, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? We're in 2023 now, but by 2035, only electric cars are going to be sold. So now the way it's moving is literally showing that, yo, there's going to come to the point where everything that we're using is being controlled, not by us. Like, everything that we're using is in, is in the power of another man. They can shut everything off. And then what are we left with? Ourselves and God. Like, that's, once they do that, all we're left with is ourselves and God. But 
It's just giving them more control over our over our possessions. You get what I'm saying, yeah? I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Since you did watch this point of video, make sure you do like it, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. This same way you're gonna catch me in the next one. Peace. Love ya.